Welcome back. It is Monday once again, and we've gone without a video for about three weeks. And in that time, lots of things have happened. Lots of bad things, but we're bouncing back. Today, I wanted to bring something to you that I think a lot of creators, a lot of artists have been struggling with for quite some time as they go to approach learning a new skill. And that thing is having a goal in mind, which is not a bad thing. But when that goal becomes this finish line that you reach out for and you cross it, there is a sense that you've reached it, but you go look ahead and there's a goal in front of you. I like to equate this to your goal and you and your intention as an arrow and the target. You're practicing, 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 practicing. You're pulling this arrow back. You, 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 you're drawing this tension in. You're putting in, you know, your time and effort into hitting this target of where you want to be as a creative. May it be a certain level of illustration skill. May it be a certain level of editing skill. And that target is always dressed as someone else. It's always something you've seen. It's always a person you're following. It's always you're one of your heroes. It, that, that target is always going to be dressed as another person. I want to be as good as. When in actuality, that target is moving. That target is moving with our skill. The more we chase after our target, it changes and morphs into the next target. So even when we reach where we want to be at technically and skill level, there's we can never hit that target because our skill is always making that target move. So no matter how many arrows you fire, no matter how fast you chase after this target, you can never hit it. It's almost in, it falls in the same vein of chasing perfection when in actuality you're not trying to chase perfection or chase the target you are just relying on being a better archer being better every time you pull that that arrow back on that bow uh, a bit more proficiency a bit more skill a bit more strength in the arm you know ease of use but that target is going to be elusive forever so when we think about reaching our goals, we think about reaching out and hitting that target. That's the wrong mindset, in my personal opinion. It's the wrong mindset. That target will always be moving. It is a target that it has no form. It has, you know, it's not, it's not, it's not solid at all. And nor should it be. Because by the time you reach that target, it'll be irrelevant and there'll be a new target. So I want to drop that with you guys as I've been, you know, digging deep within myself to like pick up the illustration skills. Uh, you know, I want to be as good as, I want to be as good as this. I'm going to get good at that. And realizing that when you get to a certain technical level with your artwork and you're trying to reach this goal, when you get there, what do you do? Well, you never stop if you're in love with the actual process. And that goal, that target, is just going to be something else. It's going to be a higher level of that target. Or to put it a better way, you may hit the center of the target, right? You may hit the center of the target. might be this big. But then you hit that target. You're like, well, can I hit it like a little bit closer to the actual center of that target? Can I, can I make the radius tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter? And that's the that's chasing that target. That's that's ultimately what we're doing, becoming more precise, trying to catch this thing. And sometimes that target it'll be something else. It'll be illustration, then all of a sudden you'll be like, Well, I wanna do animation now. Or I'm getting good at animation, or I'm getting proficient at it, but I really wanna learn how to do 3D modeling. So never get too bogged down in your goals, never get too bogged down and trying to reach those goals it's a trash day 
But I want you to realize that the journey to accomplish the things that are in front of you ultimately make you better as a creator. It gives you the grit, it gives you the stamina, it gives you the wherewithal to know that when you're reaching out for these things, by the time you grasp them, they wanna slip right through your fingers and there'll be something else you're grabbing after, a bigger and better challenge. So just to let everyone know that the grind for improvement never stops nor should it but let, don't let that be a you know don't let that deter you from trying to uh, approach any skill uh, skill in itself can be the highest reward because it's the accomplishment of your time and energy and manifesting in itself man manifesting in yourself as this new tangible thing you can now express yourself with no matter how it be in your reading, your, your no, sorry, reading, your writing, your your illustration, your your animation, your composition, your storyboarding, anything. So I'll leave that with you guys. Um, it has been busy. Uh, I have been. If you didn't see the book is out. I have a coffee book now. <laughs> I don't have any copies of it left, but I'll be sending out the rest of these to my Kickstarters. So I thank you guys for that. Um, I maybe start doing some smaller videos during the week where I'll just drop some thoughts about where we're going, uh, you know, from here on out. The way, you know, social media is being changed and the landscapes changing. So keep your eye out for that too. Um, you know, you can follow me. By all means, hit the like and subscribe button. Comment below the next video you want to see, and I'll uh, catch you next time. Keep fighting a good fight.